Hello everyone, it's Tyler GSO Hoover back with another special machine, a 1962 Norge made by Borg Warner. I bought this machine from a friend of mine, Hans Craig, he found it at an estate sale earlier this year, I think back in May. Um, it's got some bad cabinet rot right here, here, and here. Wherever it sat, it didn't like it. Um, it was in a kitchen, so underneath is super clean, but that cabinet rot is ugly. Um, I'm going to do a load of work shirts in it. All 11 work shirts fit into the old thing. This machine spent its life at an estate in a house, I believe in Lenore, North Carolina. And ultimately, I'm just going to take this step out. That way you guys can see. to stay. Okay. Um, this machine spent its life in Lenore, North Carolina. Um, I presume it was taken out of service because its pump was bad. Hans told me the pump was shot. Like all Nord machines of this vintage solid tub, they had horrible pumps. I rebuilt the pump on this one and rebuilt the water valve and somehow it runs. Another thing this machine's going to need before long is I'm going to have to go through the transmission eventually. Um, I'm going to have to address this rust. And it's also going to, it also needs a drive belt. The drive belt is the worst part of this machine right now. It is not a porcelain cabinet. It is just painted. Um, the lid is actually in very good shape. That's a very, very attractive looking console. Um, so, let's get started. Push, pull the start, push to stop. It's opposite of most machines. We're filling with hot wash, cold rinse. This is more of a bottom of the line machine compared to the other 62 North that have featured in my videos. That machine belongs to a friend of mine, Steve Rono. That machine has an actual two speed motor and several different options available. Using up some of the last of my aerial. This old girl, she's loud. Um, she's got a few things that need to be addressed eventually, but uh, for the most part, it's going to be a fun machine. I have another Nord that I just got from fellow collector Paul in Canada. That one will not spin, so I have to pull. I've had to pull the tub out already. I've already pulled the tub. And I'm going to pull the whole transmission out to get to the clutch spring underneath. And hopefully it's either the clutch spring or it's a bearing underneath or it just needs to be re, um, resealed in. And it'll spin. 
this one is going to get in your drive belts. Um, I found one online, or I'll just go to the uh, store and get one. I've done three loads of laundry in this old thing, in this old beauty, and she's just been choking along. Um, it thrashes the hell out of clothes. That is the Norge way. Um, it is just, it's so funny, this big old agitator in that small little tub, in that tiny tub, and it's got 200 degrees of rotation. Speed Queen has 210 with its Arcucrate transmissions. I'm talking about the solid tub machine specifically. Um, and then you've got 200 degrees with this machine. This machine roars at the spin quite fast like a Unimatic or another uh, Frigidaire machine. Of course, it doesn't spin as fast. Nothing really does. Um, but that's the way it goes. The motor pauses for um, spin so it can reverse when it pumps up. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> when it pumps out the water. She's about full. No, she is full. filter in the center is the burpilator. That captivating, that slurping noise is the pump. These have a notoriously loud pump. This one, when it goes into spin, that drive belt does not like it whatsoever. So, it may squeal a bit, but once that tub of water gets pumped out, it's fine. These, it's actually rolling them over. I had um, pants in this thing yesterday. I washed all my work pants in this machine, I think, in two loads. And it didn't roll them over, it just thrashed them around. Uh, it seems to be doing pretty well with this, uh, this load, though. It's a loud machine. That's your out of balance and your uh, overload, kind of your motor overload. You've got two options. And then back side of the machine, there's a little bit of water. You got all this.
makes a lot of noise. But she's washing the hell out of those clothes. So, we're already about eight minutes in. I think it's about a ten minute wash. Put this in. Hold the start. This is more of a gimmick. It uses the holes inside the agitator on that backstroke and forces water up through the agitator. Uh, Steve62 does the same thing. Uh, doesn't do a great job. It's better than no lint filter, but I don't see it doing a wonderful job. It's got lint out of, out of stuff, but it's more of a gimmick than anything. filter and it's funny uh, not on that a lot of their stuff on this on these machines in particular they have a lot of uh, they put BW on several of their uh, things like on the pump and then on uh, a few other things as well they have BW on everything or Warner on the cab and the agitator uh, they're very proud of Borg Warner who made this machine. They made a lot of car parts back in the 50s and 60s. more aggressive than a fridge there. Both machines have very vigorous washing action. This just does it with that big old agitator sloshing around in there. Um, you don't have much capacity and the fact that I'm even getting any rollover with this stuff kind of surprises me truthfully.
Verhältnis. right here this thing is made out of like rubber it hasn't held up well over the years kind of in bad shape need to repair that and of course this cabinet cancer is pitiful But it's weird, the lid is in fantastic shape. Even the places that it sat around the rust, it's in fantastic shape. And on the inside, it's fine. Han said this thing was right next to a big old stove. Um, a coolerator stove, I believe. The original stove to the house. And this is probably the second washer in the house. So there it goes. Motor reverses for spin. Now that belt it spins out pretty quickly. Now you can hear the belt kind of squealing a bit. It does not like the water gets pumped out, it's fine. And I'll shut up here in a second. It's just the belt needs to be replaced. The belt was that it was the pump was so jammed I had to take a hammer and pound the center post out. And I took a some sandpaper and a um, a scrub a wire brush cleaned off the inside impeller and lubricated the shaft, put it all back together, and lo and behold, it spins and runs. Um, and the pump was in relatively good shape, it was just rusted, so I'm sure uh, it, it locked up for some reason, probably got a little water on it, either from leaking or just, just in general. It's an old pump going to happen. After sitting a little while, jammed up, and then finally uh, went out by the wayside. Now this machine does something very interesting. It does a minute long spray rinse in the, in the first spin. And you can see it. It's 
quite funny. It's spraying all over those clothes. Very effective sun skill. You can see why water gets everywhere. I'm going to have to I always wipe them off whenever I'm done using them anyways. Now uh, that's cold, cold water and going into the rinse. And these had some of the fastest brakes available on machines, faster than anything else at the time that I remember seeing. I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. Glasses well, got water on them. That is a lengthy spray rinse, and it gets all over the poor machine, the WCI-60 the same way, it just gets everywhere. Um, that's probably why this cabinet rust started. And it's not going to get any better. Oh, and another interesting thing about these machines is they have a sediment ejector in them. Um, it's quite fascinating to see how it is. I'm going to take you guys. Oh. All right, come on. Stupid dryer thing. That is the inside of the 56. This is the one that won't spin from Paul. Thank you, Paul. This is the sediment ejector right here. There's holes in the bottom, and this acts as like a uh, back pressure tube that fills up with water. When it goes into spin, it'll spin some of that crap out. But this is a sediment ejector. And this is the Norge transmission. And the bot and the piece that spins is underneath. The spin clutch and everything else. Is well, it's not, I don't think it's really a clutch. It's not a clutch, technically. The spin bearing and clutch spring, clutch spring, are at the bottom. And this is the transmission right here. This is the drive block that the agitator bolts to. Hold on. Try not to show my messy basement. And this tub is, uh, much my call is porcelain. Fairly heavy, but not heavy as that doom attic over there or any of these frigid airs. Built decently well. Not the best built machine ever. Uh, but they are actually very fascinating. I kind of like them. Now, this whole section is the rinse. And it does a static overflow as well near the end, and you guys will get to see all of that. You can hear the pump siphoning. bit of land in there.
very loud car. Loud machine in general. do that like the old speed queens do. Let's see how she does. You see it does a static overflow. Stops. Static overflow. Stops and then it's going to spin. And it's going to spin for quite some time. Yeah, as long as the rinse is. It's kind of funny these things spin so long. I cannot wait to get this basement taken care of with this laundry situation. Hopefully this fall and winter it will be everything will be hooked up properly and I'm going to have a couple more machines to play with, like the 56 Nord, and there's another couple of other interesting machines. There it goes, makes a sound. You can hear that belt just uh, four pump. Water's hitting the bottom of that tub because that pump belts not doing good enough for it, but then it stops. There it goes. They're powerful. 
pumps. Of course, they don't work too well when you're <laughs> when you're not doing what you're supposed to do, but regardless. And it does another minute long, about a minute long over spray rinse. Now this rinse is probably more so makes me annoyed because, well, if you've got fabric softener in there, it's just going to rinse it all out. But I can't wait to do a load of whites in this thing and see how well it does with a small little, you know, some whites, socks and stuff of that nature. I guarantee you, like a Frigidaire, the health the chlorine bleach smell is going to be about rinsed out of it. Is everything soaking wet again? There you go. And now it's going to spin its heart out for the next four or five minutes. You hear that pump? Close-up shot of the control panel. Oh, and the gentle cycle is just a short fill, short wash, pretty much everything short. It is a this is a one-speed machine. Like I said, Steve's is a two-speed. His actually has a true gentle cycle, whatever that means for an orange. So I would imagine this is near the bottom of the line. Either way, it still gets the job done. spinning its heart out.
it's got some issues, but when you're from 1962, you're going to have some issues. Hmm. Smells really good, really rinsed out, and not super damp. Uh, those two towels that I had in there. I don't know where did they go? There we go. This one is already just filthy. Not too bad. It's going to get recruited to wipe down the machine again. <laughs> well, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. This is my 1962. Norge automatic washer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. There'll be plenty more where this came from. Thank you for watching.